I don't really know. You should have burst like a water balloon. I would love that. If the developers just had that as an Easter egg. Like, I've, I, I mentioned this a little bit, but I think it would be great if this game actually had some neat modifiers you could turn on. Like, character just explodes upon death. Well, this is an altogether awful spot to be hanging out. At least we got water over here. Oh, can I shoot through the steel? I have no idea. It looked like I dented it, but I didn't do any real damage. I do really wish the, uh, the wands... ...on the first couple levels had more of a variety to them. Or if they redid the wands a little, mm, nah. I do, I do like the wands as they currently are. That you can mix and match them a little bit. I just wish you had a chance of getting some like really crazy ones here. So that like the first levels aren't always just a little bit on the. Uh Hoping I could see of blood this. Well, just gonna drink all of the invisible potion. Oh, that's a bad boy. Okay. I'm 35% invisible. Not necessarily sure what that amounts to, but that's okay. Okay. This really kind of blows. Yeah, I might look up, um, I might look up some, or not look up some hacks, but I might see if there, somebody wants to, if, eh, I might see if anybody makes hacks for this game. Uh, well, that maybe be a cool one, but. I cannot afford. Anything but the barest minimum right now. I managed to make it over there. Yeah, it's only been out for a few hours. Yeah, but it'll probably get something. Uh, let's see. Well, I can't afford any of these anyway. Uh, but I was going to say, like, I might look into things that would give me, like, unlimited charges just to screw around a little bit. Yeah, supposedly Cheat, cheat Engine works for it, but that ruins the experience. Yeah, but I'd still enjoy, like, the occasional run where I just have unlimited ammo and just can go nuts again. See, repelling cape, stainless armor. Let's do homing shots. I'm also of super mixed mind when it comes to whether or not Cheat Engine. No, I'm not of mixed mind. I, I, I will always champion the cause of of cheating for goofs, because cheating for goofs often leads to some really wild stuff that playing a game legitimately might not necessarily grant you. Okay, this looks like a pretty dope wand. I'm gonna get rid of this one. See, one wand in shop had unlimited bombs. I don't think that's a thing. Well, this is a concerning wand. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm gonna get rid of the black hole gun. Wow. Ow. Ow. Oh. Must have got hit by like just a smidge of the spray. Well, this is doing a decent chunk of damage. Let's see if I tried black hole yet. It's a thing. I tried it. It didn't do anything actually. What the? Ah. What is with this homing effect? I mean, it's hilarious and effective, I suppose. Damn it. Double damn it. Damn it. Shit. Yeah, I was trying to hit that guy. Oh, homing is bad. Oh, black hole only affects the terrain. Gotcha. But yeah, part of my problem with Black Hole is whenever I get Black Hole, it usually is... Yeah, it tends to show up on ones that don't have enough mana to cast it. That's what's happened to me so far. The one time I cast it, I guess I didn't realize it didn't affect mobs. And it probably just sailed through open air to some degree. And so it just did kind of nothing. And I was just like, well, that's disappointing. But no, if I if I do any any cheating, it will be clearly labeled as such. Excuse me, thirst wizard needs some needs some drank. Mm. Shuck a lug, baby. Let's see. But uh what was I gonna say? I don't know. I just think after like a, a bunch of runs of just like absolute failure, it would be nice to turn on like just get all perks or uh you know, five times as much health. Just so I can actually have a hope of, of, uh, you know, surviving through things without getting one shot by something or other. At least until the game gets balanced in a slightly more satisfying manner. Because as it stands, I'm just kind of on this perpetual uh, chain of just like, well, I go until a run gets ridiculous, but otherwise the early game is just kind of slow and bad. It's not bad necessarily, it's just kind of one of those where it's like, it's a very uneven scale, maybe? Would be the better way to describe this, where it's like, it's such a fun game, but getting there sometimes is a giant slog. Excuse me. I thirst. I don't even know what's going on over here. Shit just keeps exploding. Are the enemies fighting each other? What is this? Oil. What happens if I drink oil? The answer is nothing. Nothing happens if my character drinks oil. I mean... He's lubricated as hell. But there's no immediate adverse reaction to drinking oil. Something about that just feels amazing to me. Okay, we don't want to do go down there yet. 
Hopefully the heart hasn't burned. Okay, there's still the health pick up there. That's good. Ow, 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 shit. Come on. 45 damage. <sighs> I think I think that is what's getting me a little bit about this game. I love it. I'm I'm absolutely loving how many ridiculous things can happen. The problem is just like there's a far too many things that'll just like instantly wipe you out and you have to go through this absolute slog of a restart every time. And that's kind of rough. Yeah, it's not balanced yet. Yeah, I hope they balance some of these things soon. What I generally prefer is like when games are kind of under-tuned like this, they just like give the players hev heavy power creep and just kind of arms race it to success. Let's get them vapors. Honestly, the easy way to do it would just be triple player health and just leave it at that until the rest of the game is more finely tuned, maybe. You can find three or more HP upgrades in the first mine, though. Just chance. The problem is that takes upwards of, like, 20-30 minutes to, like, find them all. And I don't... Do you guys really want to see me, like, digging around looking for health pickups for the next, like, entire run? Because that's kind of the problem I, I have to deal with in a lot of these. It's like, well, I could, but it would take forever. And in the interest of not spending the rest of the evening on one run. I mean, remember the run where I was just digging forever? Uh, admittedly, it's been a while since that run at this point. But that was a fun run that... I spent most of my time mining, instead of actually doing anything useful. And then I pretty much died instantly anyway. Extremely dense rock. Huh. If all the mountains were of silver and gold, what would they profit a man who lives in constant fear of death? Hence, there cannot be in the whole world anything better than our medicine. It has the power to heal all the diseases of the flesh. I have no idea if there's anything on the other side of that, but that's cool. It should be up every floor. Maybe? I mean, I think if the HP ops were just as visible as wands were, that would make a huge difference. Let's see. Isn't that the point of roguelikes, being careful what you do? It depends on the roguelike. Uh, hmm. I guess there's the question of do you want it to be more of a uh, Caves of Cud roguelike, or do you want it to be closer to, like, Binding of Isaac? Um, and I will admit, my general preference is for stuff like Isaac. If only because Caves of Cud takes forever, and if I get just wrecked by some random enemy, uh, it puts me off of playing Caves of Cud for, like, years. But you could cross that thing with a rain spell. Probably. I don't think I have a rain spell, though. But yeah, I'm, I'm betting we actually take one of these things to maybe a, a, one of the temples. I think blood. Mm, yum. Where are all the potions? There we go. Damn it. This hurts. This there isn't too much. Mm, do we wanna? Yeah. 
anything down here. Oh, that's just a mushroom. A lot of just explosions and other garbage going on around here. I am involved in very little of it. And yes, I'm aware you can refill flasks and stuff. I haven't found a potion in forever. Did I get him? Nope. And now I got him. Holy crap. Touching lava hurts them. Either that or I got boomed. I'm not entirely sure. There's a health upgrade. Fortunately, it's probably going to be my only one. As everything else is probably going to kill me if I try and stick around. What's this stuff? Eh? Weird. Weird mushroom. Yeah, Alright. Let's see. I'm probably just gonna bail. If I can. Ooh! There we go. Yeah, because any sticking around any longer is going to be rough. Yeah, one of my problems uh, monetarily, I, I'm getting kind of critical of this game just because I, I... That looks interesting. I'll probably buy it because it's hella cheap. Um, But uh, the reason why I was kind of complaining about money is just because, like, you really do have to farm for quite a while to be able to afford, like, any of these. And so it's kind of unsatisfying when you get here and you're like... I guess I'll get the one on sale. Admittedly, the one on sale is maybe good, but... That'll be weird. More hatred. Glass cannon. Faster movement. Glass cannon! Well, this seems like a terrible idea. We're going for it. Oh, boy. That was an absolute trap shoot. Okay, probably gonna just go archery here. So if my HP is capped, there's pretty much no reason to explore for items. That's so shitty. I wanna look for wands. Assuming I can find a wand at all. Huh. So apparently, Glass Cannon also uh, quintuples the uh, quintuples the explosive radius of bombs. Now we know. That's... You know, it said times five damage. It said nothing about the, the radius of explosions. I mean, that's kind of cool because I want to try that again, but at the same time, that just also kind of sucks. Imagine if you used one of the bigger explosives. Terror. Ooh. I get out of here, basic wand. I got... A, I got bow time. That box did not want to explode. There's really no reason why I did that. Nope. No reason to be here. That's okay. No, I, I don't know. I guess playing this game kind of makes me feel like... Oh, shoot, what is it? It makes me feel like I'm playing Pretend. Or like Dungeons and Dragons with a bad DM. And so it's a bad DM that's created this really interesting homebrew rule set. But half the time when I do anything, he's just like, Oh, 
Oh, rolls a couple of dice. You died. I'm like, uh. And I realized, like, that's just kind of how this game goes down. And, like, how it's supposed to work. Uh, but I can't help but feel mildly unsatisfied every every time it happens, just because it's just like... Uh, just because it's like, well, what do I do now? And then it's like, re-roll re your character, we're starting over, and it's just like, what? What about all that, like, work I just put into this campaign of your- My god, stop throwing these guys at me! They hurt! Bad! I am not properly equipped with the tools to deal with these guys. I mean, I am, I guess. Except for all the burning. I'm probably going to burn to death right now. Yep. Spray yourself with liquid. I've actually had no luck at spraying myself with liquid, liquid putting uh, fire out. Like, it just has never reliably worked for me. So, I just don't bother. I instead try and find functional liquid that I can just dunk myself in instead. Like, I've tried. It didn't work. I think last time I I tried that, it teleported me somewhere else entirely and I was still on fire. And of course I'm covered in acid. Right, because they just spray it left and right. Okay, well, we get an easy chest to get access to. Let's see, did that have anything else other than gold? The answer is no. Sometimes they have, like, upgrades or something. I kind of wish you could actually find those, like, temple blessings occasionally. It's also kind of unsatisfying that all the, uh, all dead enemy gold just winks away after a while. It's like, I already have money problems. You don't need to make it harder on me. I think I'm starting to lose my patience at this game. It Again, it's not that it's bad, it's just that, like, you do get a little bit sick of being mired with just this shitty basic starting wands. And then every, every time I finally get something that looks cool, I die. And it's just like, uh I just covered in nothing but berserkium fluid? I am. That's... That's dangerous. And yeah, I know I know a lot of people are saying like it's not balanced yet, but like, holy shit, this is pretty bad. Uh like a pretty rough difficulty curve from any perspective. I'm assuming the dev the devs are the only people that have played this so far, so it's kind of one of those where it's like difficulty make uh difficulty curve makes perfect sense to somebody that's played this for presumably years. I, this game's been in development for like an insane amount of time. Because the joke was like it'll be out sometime this decade. And what do you know? They actually did, they did actually put it out. A couple months before the decade ended, but still. Okay, what do we got here? A little bit of air. And black hole. That's kind of fun. Yeah, I should probably use the black hole wand. I 
wonder if there's some way to increase that. I'm sure there is. Oh, it's these little guys. Uh, let's see. Not gonna get me anything. You get a different starting wand on the daily run. I actually wasn't even aware there was a daily daily run. Okay. Circle of Buoyancy. Oh, new spell's kind of nice. I wonder if you could actually... Frog. Ow! I wonder if you could actually, like, just go laterally really hard and then dig up. And find something interesting. This is a good wand. That's a, this is a really good wand. Damage isn't insane. But the rest of it's pretty freaking good. You can access the daily run for the pause menu. Wait, is that just a frog corpse that's just covering everything in toxic goop? Holy crap, that's a leaky sucker. Okay, well, I got what we needed. Let's let's head down before I get wrecked by too much more. I was kind of hoping to find a health upgrade of, around here, but like... Mm, hopefully they just had uh, different starting ones that you can collect and use. I honestly... What I think it should be is actually just like a... Again, I'm a big fan of meta progression systems. I think it should just be you slowly unlock more abilities. Let's see, magic arrow, explosion of brimstone, spark bolt with trigger, and unstable crystal. Let's try magic arrow. Yeah, that'll be fun to fire. Uh, but yeah, just being able to teleportitis, saving grace, homing shots, homing shots. Especially with this. Uh, I wouldn't be a roguelike. It's not a roguelike to begin with. This is a roguelite. Um, but being able to unlock just like a couple of basic spells uh, that you can kind of mix and match when starting your run would make a huge difference as far as I'm concerned. You know, so like, for example, if I can start with this wand uh, or kind of mush some wands together and say like, or spells together and be like, let's see how this run goes. I think it would feel a lot more satisfying than that basic starting thing. And it, like, it wouldn't even have to give you access to the most powerful things immediately, obviously. But just having like three or four spells to like kind of choose from and like combo stuff together. If you started with a perk and a few spells, yep. Just so it's like, okay, well what run do I want to go for today? Let's start with these spells and then like, see where it takes us from there. Save. And yeah, if you even get the perk, it's like, okay, I want homing or let's go for a really easy run and just chuck on perk lottery. But mainly what I care most about is just having some alternative to the, uh, to the basic starting one because holy crap that gets unsatisfying after a while. Oh, you mean uh it never saves your records. Honestly, does it matter at this point? But yeah, I'd feel a lot less uh, grumpage getting wrecked if I had like some new thing to play around with every once in a while. Um, and I think to go back to like my Caves of Cud comparison, that was actually one of the strengths of the game because you could always kind of adjust what your build was going to be going into the beginning of the run and how your character leveled up and stuff. And so admittedly it had no meta progression. 
didn't necessarily need it. Cthulhu Mama. Nobody ever tell you to chill out. Just for a bit. There's also an explosive box right there, which is terrifying. This is all on fire. Ooh, this looks fun. Uh, mm, hmm. I like all of my current weapons. I'm going to get rid of my bomb wand. I don't know what this does. It looks like it's just nothing but glowing lance. That's through soft materials. It cuts through them a little bit. never seen a shop like this before. Teleport spell, double scatter spell, bounce, chunk of soil, or cement. I'm gonna grab bounce. Bounce sounds too good not to grab. Double scatter spell might be kind of interesting for wrecking things. But yeah, bounce on this might be obscene. Can't get to chest? Only one thing I I can do. Drink. I almost wonder if this game would be better without a gold system at all. And it was more of a just like, every time you came to a shop it was just pick one. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I just think enemies should give more than 10 gold apiece. So you dump out one of the potions, get a flask of water to put out fire. That's a good point. Must pee. I do wish it gave you, like, accurate, like, a, a meter somewhere that showed you how much of this potion was left. Okay, there we go. No! Oh! That was a mimic? Well, I mean, yeah, sure. That's a really disappointing haul from a mimic, though. Like 30 gold. The hell was that? Oh, homing. That's why it, that did what it did. First time seeing a Mimic. Yeah, it's my first time at least. Real chest sink, I guess? Huh. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. Well. I'm gonna keep looking around for a little bit. travesty here is I can cut through this but it is going to be such a miserable experience I'm not sure if it's worth my time
Yeah, no, I'm just gonna go. Heal up. There is one on sale, which is kind of nice. Uh, it does give me a triple shot. Some of these other ones look kind of rad. Let's cancel that for a second. Let's take a look at some of these. So... Castellay, 0.5. Recharge, 0.45. Mana Max is obscene on this thing. Mana Charge Speed... Okay, so what's this one? Decent spread. The cast delay is kind of low. Recharge time. Muck around. So, this wand has... Oh, a much slower recharge time. And a much lower ma max mana. Huge capacity, though. gonna do that though because this should be faster and we're gonna take the rest of these I'd like to have them all but it seems like this one's kind of bad the recharge time is miserable on it this one's pretty bad too in fact I'm gonna put that one there we're gonna get rid of this one pick this up instead of this one okay Doesn't seem like they rick uh they ricochet in the slightest. Nor do they triple scatter, so I guess it's better that we just go with that. A yeah, recharge happens after you cast all the spells in the wands. Yeah. So maybe what I want to do. Mana charge speed. Mana charge speed. Hmm. This wand is terrifying. That should be pretty good. You know, I'm gonna put bounce on this. More bounce? Better? Yeah, that's another bounce. So what does more damage? Eight. This only does three. How much does this do? Ten. And these bounce too much, so I don't want to lose them. Okay, I think that's going to be good for now. I can't do any more. Let's see, electricity is bad. Vampirism might be interesting, or freeze field. Uh, I'm going to grab freeze field. Because vampirism would be nice, but I don't know if I have the spare health. Okay. It's also one of those where vampirism does not guarantee that I'm going to be up against enemies that can even be vampirized. I don't think I'm done. I spent all that time, and I just get wrecked by Lightning Man. <sighs> yeah, like I was saying, like I've kind of been saying, as much as I love where this is going, um, gameplay-wise, there are too many enemies that just show up and just crush you to dust in seconds. 
And I don't know if I got stunned. I was probably out of, uh, I was probably out of levitation power. And it was just stuck on the ground, unable to do anything, which makes perfect sense. But, like, I think he two to four shot me. I'm not entirely sure, but I just, my tolerance for that stopped probably about an hour and a half ago. And then I kept going for another two hours, give or take. Uh, so, God, I like this game. It's really cool. I can't wait to see how far they take it. But, man, my, my nuts can only take so much kicking before they get a little bit on the sore side. 